In this class, we are going to learn how to make use of this dynamic table that is the dynamic component in Oracle Visual Builder application and populate the dynamic table with business object data. In our previous class, we had seen how to make use of this dynamic table and populate with the help of service connection wherein we made use of the REST countries API in order to populate the dynamic table with the countries data and also we had customized the table in order to show the flag with the help of templates that is by overrating one of the columns of a dynamic table that is by making use of avatar and we had represented in the form of avatar the flag of their respective countries if you have not watched that class please check out the class before you watch this class wherein we had explained in detail about what is dynamic table and how they are used to give you an overview unlike the normal table dynamic tables are used in order to customize the table columns or the layouts of the table as per your condition condition could be like for the varying sizes like if you are viewing this web page with the help of phone then you want the less number of columns to be displayed then you can customize what columns you want to display in a what screen format like for example in the phone we have to represent only two columns in a table and in the medium devices four columns and in bigger or large devices if you want to display n number of columns we can customize those layouts or columns for the table with the help of dynamic table and the conditions could be based on your role suppose if you are building this application for some organization and within the organization application will be used by the employees as well as their managers and the managers will have more number of data to view than the normal employees so these kind of customizations you can achieve with the help of dynamic table now without wasting much time let's begin with our today's use case that is representing dynamic table with the help of business object so first condition is you must be having one business object something like this for today's use case i'm going to make use of this employees business object and represent the data in the form of table with the help of dynamic table whatever we have in this business object that is employees business object now one method is like we can drag and drop over here and then customize with the help of quick start other method over here is if we go to this data expand the business object that is employee we can drag this get many and drop in the info section over here and it is asking two options that is whether we want to drop it as a dynamic table or a list i will select dynamic table then it will open the configuration in order to define the layout i am creating a layout with the name employee and in the fields i want to display first name hire date and the phone number this will be our default layout later we will modify this as per the use case click on next and click on finish As soon as you tab out, your table will be represented over here. Suppose if you doesn't want to scroll this, then you can just restrict the height over here like what we do in other cases or the other tables like height, I will restrict it to 60 VH. Just tab out. Done. Now we are having only 60 VH height. Then we can just make use of the scroller in order to scroll and get the details. Now as soon as you create a dynamic table, it will create a layout. We had created a layout with the name employee. So it has created a layout with the default rule over here. Now in this use case, we will make use of the roles. So suppose if this application is being used by employees and managers. So we first of all, we will create couple of roles. Go to settings, go to user roles. Here I will create one role with the name as employee. Another role I will create as the manager. By clicking on this assign group or user, you can add the users or the groups which are synced in your IDCS. So which is in turn linked with this Oracle Visual Builder. So you can add this by clicking on assign group and you can add the group as well as the users. So I'm skipping that part. I hope you already know all those things. Let me go back to this employee. Go to this. Now here I will define if my user role, I will just see whether we are having any user and the roles. Yes, we are having user role. If this includes employee, then I will show this layout that is the default layout what we have defined. So if you click on the magnifier icon, it will show the number of columns what the dynamic table will show for the employees. That is fine. Let me just go back. Now we can click on this plus rule and we can define a new rule for the manager. One simple method is just click on this duplicate icon over here and provide the name. I will tell this is the manager rule. Click on duplicate. Now whatever fields you had defined for employee, it will be copied over here for the manager role. I will modify this and make it as a manager. Suppose if the role contains manager, then we will represent this role. Click on done. Now we will modify the fields for this. 
Now apart from phone number we will display the salary of the employee as well as the last name. Last name I will just rearrange it over here. Done first name last name salary as well as the email id I will show. That's it. Now let us go back to this main start. Now as we don't have a default rule only we are having employee and the manager rule. So it is not showing the details over here in the manager. Now let me just switch to employee role over here click on select role. Now it will populate the dynamic table with the data what it has to show to the employee. If you see for the employee we are showing only three columns but if I change the role to manager and check employee click on select role then we should be getting more number of columns that is more data it has to represent. Now if you see we are getting apart from first name phone number and the higher date the last name salary and the email. So such kind of customizations you can achieve with the help of dynamic table based on the role. Suppose if you want to know how to customize the dynamic table based on the screen size like small device like if you are weaving in the iPhone or in any Android phone or any other smaller devices then you can customize based on the screen sizes that we had already covered in our previous class wherein we explained how to make use of this dynamic table in order to populate with the rest API data. Please check out that class if you want to customize the dynamic table with the help of responsive screen sizes.